Hello YouTube, um, got a new item through the post today I want to do a quick review on the Snug Pack Luxury Wash Bag Features detachable mirror, load bearing strap, two individually divided zip sections, one large storage section, four elasticated storage sections two elasticated straps, elasticated accessory strap, wet storage compartment I'm quite happy with it so far. I looked at a few different ones online. I've got a wash bag. The one I originally used for a good few years now is this Berghaus one. Um, I might use that mirror actually for this one with that. Uh, which zips up into this oblong style. Then you have all these different compartments. I couldn't get enough in it and I could never see what I was getting to. It has its plus points this, but it got on my nerves a bit too much. Uh, it would, the zip is really awkward as well, because you've got these paracord, well oh, I don't know if they're paracord, but the pulls on the inside. Anyway, we won't go into that one, it's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's not bad. Uh, so I've got this snug pack one, nice and green again. Uh, pretty cool bag, nice and roomy. I was a toss up between this, £10, and the Maxpedition one, £35 I think, didn't like the style of the Maxpedition one which is a one off for me but just didn't really like it too the way it was laid out, too massive I love the design of this, there's other bags that are in this design but snug pack so you unzip this here uh, I'll show it hanging in a minute, you unzip this here I've just added as much as I can into for the demonstration then it's got this top zip pouch here where there's a little stainless steel hanger and then they've also, because they realised that this would probably hang down quite a bit like that maybe even rip that off, they've given you this load bearing strap to hook to the front so you, hide, you just slide that over there then you hook it up um, so I'll ha hang it up now and then I'll give you a view of that ok so we've got the bag hanging up now I'll try and stay out the frame. Um, as I say, I pulled the stainless steel hanging loop out this top compartment, and then in this top compartment, I've just stuffed some shampoos, body gels that I've stolen from various hotels, etc. Got to be done in it, I've got loads of these. So I've just shoved them body gel, shampoo, stuff like that. Then you've got this nice pull away mirror. See yourself YouTube? No. Um, it did have a film on here that I had to rip off because obviously it was crap without that but decent enough piece of velcro on the back there. See what you're doing in it. Put that up there, lovely. Um, and then it's got another zipper pocket. With, to be honest with this load bearing strap you can't get to it all that well. I might just not bother using that and see what happens. Let's see the difference with the load bearing strap off. Hopefully the hook won't rip off for the demonstration. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Um, doesn't really make a lot of difference, so we'll just get it out of the way for the minute. So then, in this section, I've just put some dental floss, nail scissors, tweezers, dental floss sticks, spins of it. Uh, maybe that's why you need that load bearing strap to keep it yeah the load bearing strap stops it from spinning so let's put that back on and see how we get on ok still spins a bit but you know um, anyway so then I've just put some of my girlfriend's body wash which I still got some of that little stuff in there there's a body wash you can fit in there I've got her shampoo and conditioner in here because I just use the cheapo big ones of them but obviously going on holiday you can fit some shampoo and conditioner if you need that you can put I don't shave as you can clearly see so I don't need no shaving equipment other than my shave which is in the bottom here my uh, trimmer thing beard trimmer um, but you could fit all your shaving stuff in here nicely then you've got these four elasticated along the back here when it sits down they're a little bit more in line um, yeah, so then in there I've got a deodorant roll on, one of them little mini spray on links, aftershave, 
and then here and in there's a side pouch here I hope you can see that so there's a side pouch here where and then in one of them elasticated ones so I've put these Nalgene bottles there. If I'm only going for a little trip I'll normally have that filled up with mouthwash shampoo conditioner or shampoo body wash in there, shampoo body wash, mouthwash in these little Nalgene containers. They're empty at the minute obviously because you keep stuff in there which well, you don't need to do, you need to use things. Uh, and then there's another two pouches at the back here with elasticated entries. Um, I've got some soap in that bag just to keep it from getting everywhere and then in this back one a uh, brush, hair brush which I don't use as you can tell um, no I do, well maybe talcum powder in that back pocket so you can see already you can fit a load in it and you could fit more in it now there's the charger for my electric toothbrush in the other the left hand side side pouch there then I've got toothpaste Uh, this is for the nail gene if you want to use any of them to squirt with like squirt your shampoo out or body wash whatever and then I've got my electric toothbrush in there as well so all that fits nicely in there obviously you arrange that what way you want then at the bottom here this is the wet compartment I believe but in here I've just stored some other bits and pieces that uh, sort of a bit separate to that I suppose and I might not use them every time uh, beard trimmer so that fits nicely in there pegless washing line excellent when you're travelling I've been in a we got a really cheap deal in Sri Lanka on a five star hotel once and there's all these rich mainly Russian people there and uh, I had that strung up across the porch of my thing of my hotel room with all my t-shirts and that hanging off it where I'd used my travel wash to wash my own t-shirts I don't think anyone really loved me for that um, then I've got a kit repair, this is for jackets, sleeping bags, things like that sewing kit I don't have any first aid in here because if anyone knows that's seen any of my other videos I have my own first aid kits completely separate and then I've just got a nice little face towel in there and that all fits in there, yeah, so pretty nice pretty decent little bag for a tenner can you complain at anything for a tenner? I don't think so personally as I say, you know, uh, someone's going to go snug packs British, don't slag it off compared to the American stuff but it's a fact, it's not built as well as Maxpedition it's nowhere near as good material and all the rest of it, but it's a tenner you know what what do you want for a tenner? The stitching and that is great compared to them Hong Kong bags it's excellent it's just this material isn't as strong as Maxpedition it's not as good velcro, it's not as good elastic etc etc but I do not take this to the woods with me when I go camping I've got a mini wash kit that I've done a video on this is just you know the couple of times a year I go on holiday so why do you want to spend a fortune on a wash bag they get so dirty and that as well but yeah, so I'm really happy with this, and my main reason for having this, and not the Max Edition, not that that's the only choices in the world, but I like these two brands, um, is because I prefer the design of this, I really like the setup, I don't like that Max Edition one, it's too big, I mean this can crush down quite easily, if you haven't got that much stuff in it, you can just, you know, you could just put a few bits in there and just stuff that right down into your, to your rucksack, suitcase, if that's what you choose, whatever. Or you can stuff it right out. Ten pound can't go wrong. Got it off eBay for a tenner. Okay, thanks for watching.